Who put the parachute in the locker? I can't remember. Um, Throughout his questioning and trial, Emile Sillier barely showed a flicker of emotion. This was the facade of a calculating would-be killer who tried to murder his wife Victoria not once, but twice. The couple's relationship soured after he was repeatedly unfaithful and ran up huge debts. They shared a love of skydiving. This is Victoria preparing to freefall on an earlier jump. But on the 5th of April 2015, Emil accompanied her to their local airfield at Netheraven, taking her parachute into the toilets to tamper with it. The jury was shown a video of an expert demonstrating how easy it was to turn the rig into a potential death trap. She climbed into the plane with both her main chute and reserve sabotaged by her husband. This was the altitude at which Vicky Sillier took that fateful jump. 4,000 feet because of the low cloud that day. She'd done 2,600 jumps before, but this time she was about to experience every skydiver's worst nightmare. The jury was shown this video of what happens when a parachute becomes tangled. This gives a sense of the terror Victoria experienced as she spiralled to earth. She hit the ground at 60 miles an hour, but miraculously survived, albeit with several broken bones. Fellow parachute instructor Andy Ford has known Vicky for 20 years. When we first heard about it, it was like, wow, there's been a main arm reserve fail. That's, that's, that's beyond thinkable. I can't imagine how that would happen. And, and then when we found out it was possibly a sabotage case, it kind of didn't really be... It wasn't a skydiving case anymore. Emile Sillier also tampered with the gas main at their house in an earlier attempt to kill Victoria, endangering their two children. He wanted her dead to benefit from a life insurance policy. Instead, he's facing a lengthy prison sentence. Dan Rivers, ITV News.